Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. We're going to do a reading for Gemini. Yay, Gemini. We're going to give you a reading. Um, I am feeling this, and I felt this before I even start pulled from the bag there. Um, but Gemini, I feel like you got some questions, Gemini. Let's see what your questions are. Um, this is the Prairie Majesty Oracle. Um, and I find that this oracle actually provides like really good questions um, to kind of ask your deck, ask yourself. Um, so we'll just kind of see what pops out here for you, Gemini. All right. I think that was the main reason I got this deck is because of the questions that it asks. All right. All right, beautiful spirit. What question does Gemini need to be asking? What questions does Gemini need to be asking? What is the question that Gemini needs to be asking? What is the question that's on Gemini's mind? Maybe you want to give me a... There we go. There we go. So this one says, remember... At the bottom we have a star here. Um, so have hope. Um, this one says, what eternal knowing can I access in human form? Now we start with love there and gratitude. What can I learn from observation? Notice. And this is the crow. Um, and this is the squirrel. All right, let's see what the book says about remember. Um, and I do feel like this is a remembrance of uh, prior to life, you know, <laughs> based on the question, what eternal knowing can I access in human form? So what part of your higher self can you ask questions um, to better understand yourself? Um, or get answers for, for problems in your life. I am trying to find the squirrel. Oh, here we go. This is the 13-lined ground squirrel. Um, it says, if you're reading this, you're ready to explore what this time signifies for your for you personally. How are you being called to level up? Um... So this is also um, the 13th card. Um, the number 13 is important because it's a time of transformation. Um, so I feel like, Gemini, you are in a place of transformation. Um, you are remembering your higher self. You're tapping into your higher self. You're, you're asking those questions of the innate of who, who am I? <laughs> kind of, um, you know, and what, what am I here to do? What am I supposed to do? Um, and then here it says, um, for the crow, we're going to look her up here and <clears throat> sometimes noticing is a matter of willingness to see what's right in front of us, even if we'd rather not. And I'm, I am actually tempted. I have this teeny tiny shadow deck. Where are you shadow deck? Um, I have never been called to use this deck before. So we're going to use this and see what happens. I feel like I moved the camera there. Probably I didn't. It's just me. Um, so what are you not noticing that's right in front of you? What are you not noticing that's right in front of you? Thank you, beautiful spirit, for all of your guidance, love, and light. What is Gemini not noticing that's right in front of them? All right. So green, I'm going to always go with kind of like the heart chakra. Um, but it says dishonesty. Don't confuse dishonesty with difference of opinion. Everyone has their own take on the situation and you are required to respect the differences. Um, so I really kind of feel like this might be um, a dishonesty with your with yourself, right? Um, and 
and maybe you're um, agreeing with people that you don't um, when you don't necessarily um, agree. We can kind of get some clarity on that too. Difference of opinion. Um, I was kind of saying this in another reading as well. Um, it says, don't confuse dishonesty with difference of, of opinion. Um, everyone has their own take on the situation and requires to respect the differences. And one of the things I heard Teal Swan say was, um, uh, you know, asking somebody their favorite ice cream. So mine is chocolate ice cream and somebody else's might be, um, mint chocolate, um, ice cream. And the difference is, um, we, the, that's simply, it's not dishonest to, you know, say that you, you don't like mint chocolate. If you like chocolate ice cream, it just defines like chocolate for me would be defining me as that person. That just defines me as a person. I don't have to have an emotional attachment to it. Um, and the person, um, next to me doesn't have to have a personal attachment to the ice cream that I like. They have a personal attachment to the ice cream that they like, and that's how they define their space. And so I feel like this is um, a challenge to be honest with yourself and maybe having awareness on what is the difference between a difference of opinion and somebody telling, not telling you the truth. Um, but let's kind of get some clarity on this situation here just a little bit. Um, and I am kind of feeling um, a Celtic cross here. And this is the Pam's Vintage Tarot. I have a couple of these. They're kind of cool. I like the little one. All right. So can we get some clarity on this observation of dishonesty versus difference of opinion. What kind of clarity can we get on dishonesty versus a difference of opinion? Uh oh, I just saw the world card. Is it the end of the world? Ah. <laughs> uh. I almost feel like there's a new beginning here. Um, I feel like if you're able to kind of do this, it's, um, you're going to find some more clarity. Um, but it is a viewpoint in how you see the world. Um, it prevents you from planning for the future, and it, it clouds your mind and your thoughts um, if you think that everyone is being dishonest with you, because then you can't rely on anyone. So I almost feel like you get... Um, if, if not everyone is dishonest, if everybody, not that everyone is honest, but for the most part, you know, people are trying to do the right say, thing, let's say, um, maybe you don't have to be, uh, confrontational when it's the difference between I like chocolate and you like mint chocolate chip and that defines me as a person and that defines you as a person is kind of how I'm going to interpret those cards for right now. All right, so let's take a look at what is kind of going on. I want to just see. Give me some more information about Gemini here. And I think I'm going to do the Celtic cross on, prop, on top of this. I'm just really kind of looking for influences right now of what's kind of happening uh, for Gemini. So, Gemini, right now you are a loyal person. Um, you are loyal um friend, partner, you're dependable, you're stable, um, you're a good companion, you're playful, you're protective, um, you might be in the medical field, um, and what is working against you, in your way, what is the obstacle or the lesson? I love how these cards just um, fly up. So we've got the stork, which is news. Um, it's a uh, change, um, movement, 
um, birth. It can quite literally mean birth. Um, but I feel like um, the lesson is in moving forward. It is in, in t making a change. So right here, just like we're saying notice, um, there there is a notice here. There's an awareness here. And if you think about it, and you kind of tap into the essence of who you are, um, your higher self, your meditations, connecting with God, praying, um, however you connect with spirit and getting in touch with your highest self, um, you're going to maybe see that there is a, a shadow part. There's a part that needs healing. Um where, where you feel like the world is kind of dishonest with you. Um, and it, it does prevent you from making plans because you can't rely on other people. Um, and it may be sometimes difficult um, thinking-wise to kind of see a clear path. Um, here we have the wishing well. I really feel like the whip, wishing well is really going to represent... Um, I really feel it represents like... If you can learn this lesson, right, if you are loyal to the course, if you're able to do the hard work, if you can make the change so that you can be more open to the world, more accepting, more uh, trusting that good things are coming to you, um, the world is your oyster. You know, the universe can basically, you can basically ask the universe for anything and it's going to bring it to you. Um, so that's kind of what I'm feeling there. I'm going to go ahead and do it Celtic Cross. Um, on top of these. All right, thank you, beautiful spirit. Let's. <laughs> what is covering our Gemini? Aww. So we've got a new passion, um, and you're happy about this new passion. You're excited about this new passion. Um, what's crossing you, Gemini? What is crossing you? <clears throat> Eight of Swords. All right, so the Eight of Swords is crossing you. Um, the Eight of Swords to me is being trapped by your own thoughts, right? Um, you're just getting in your own way. And what you think about, you bring about, right? So if you're having negative thoughts, um, put them aside as lies. Because the universe, remember, um, has your back. Only wants joy for you. Only wants your um, you to you know, bring things, good things to you. Um, but when you vibrate at a lower level and you're unable to trust that the universe has got your back, that it's only up to you, um, that, that you just can't trust. Um, so I feel like you're almost in an analysis paralysis. You're just really trapped by your own thoughts. Um, and I feel like the challenge here is changing your thinking to a place of trust. All right. So let's see what's in your basis here. What is in Gemini's basis? Wow, lots of stuff in your basis. Okay, so I got, this goes here. We've got, um, eh, okay. So we've got kind of, um, we've got the moon here, um, which is kind of like, and the six of swords. So I feel like, in your basis again it's it's this kind of lack of of trust um in the, in the universe and um not feeling safe not feeling that you you can trust the universe where you're kind of coming into a place well you're like well look at all i've lost and how it's shaken my foundation this five of cups really makes me feel like <clears throat> You, you have had some things that you've had to kind of get over and, and kind of grieve from the past, but um, you're hopeful. You're hopeful for the future, but you're you're acting kind of in an immature, in an immature kind of way. What's crowning you? What's on your mind? Wow, just pulled right out. So I've got the seven of staffs um, in the reverse there. Gemini... You think too much. 
you go through this analysis paralysis, you can't make a decision, you can't make both sides of that personality of yours agree, and then that indecision costs you. It costs you money, it costs you relationships, um, it costs you. Um, and then and then it causes, it's like this vicious cycle, and then it causes you anxiety, and then you're kind of embarrassed, and then you get these losses, and you're perplexed as to why, why does this keep happening to you? And it's because you can't make a choice and then stand behind it. Like you, you have to have that discipline to, to make a choice and kind of stand behind it. Um, what's in your near future? Let's move this here. What is in your near future, Gemini? I feel so much resistance in this, in this reading. Um, I feel so much resistance, like you're defensive. I feel like your resistance in a, in a defensive way. Um, like, how can I just trust? How can I just trust that, make, that things will happen? And it's just really down to that good vibration, being grateful. Um, all right. And in the near future, um, I don't really know how to, to do this. We're going to go, I feel like you can go either way, right? So you're going to have teamwork or you're not going to have teamwork. <laughs> Um, in terms of the near future um, and, and in terms of maybe your personality. It popped out in the reverse um, and in the re sort of in the reverse. I picked it up in the reverse. I'm not really sure how it popped out. Um, but I feel like there's an opportunity here um, in towards your wish fulfillment. Um, there's going to be work and it's either working towards mediocrity or uh, working towards mastery, right? So I feel like you need to, you you need to bring people in that you can trust, right? Or trust the people that you've drawn into you to give you the information um, that you need, the work that you need. Um, I'm getting a get you get what you pay for. <laughs> so if you have um, a new business. Um, or you're starting a new business. Um, one, I think you're overthinking it. Um, but I think it's whoever you're working with, it's going to be kind of like, I feel like a hit or miss kind of thing, um, with whoever, um, you're working with. So let's kind of take a look at what is the advice that you're giving yourself, Gemini, um, in making this decision and how to move forward. Um, cause you are hopeful for the future, right? Um, but you might be making mistakes. I feel like you're making mistakes and then the indecision, um, all of those things are going to cost you. And I think um, choosing good people to work with is going to be um, critical for you in the near future. Um, choosing people you can trust um, to do the work uh, with you in the near future um, is really going to kind of help you move forward. Um, changing your vibration, changing your thoughts to a place of success um, without doubt, with trust, um, I think is really going to change your outcome as well. Um, to make all of your, your dreams come true, right? You can basically wish for what you want, um, but you get what you wish for as well, right? You can wish for whatever you want, but you get what you wish for. And if you're constantly in a vibration of, of lack or it's going to, something's going to happen, then, uh, you're in, invariably attracting that exact situation um, to you. So what is the advice that Gemini is giving themselves? <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, study up. That's right. Um, and you're waiting on a message. You're waiting on um, maybe even some money. Maybe you're waiting on a paycheck. Um, and what's in your environment? Mm, you're waiting for some sort of payoff is what I'm feeling right, right there. Waiting for money um, to come in. Um, you're expecting money to come in. You're learning new ways of making money come in. Um, but I just feel like, um, you're, um, it's either a message, um, maybe you're going to be doing some work with kids, um, but you have new money kind of, um, manifesting. You're, you're looking for new ways to manifest money. And what's in your environment at the moment? What is in your environment? Um, and the advice that you might be giving yourself is, you know, doing this for, for your kids. Um, you're researching the best way to bring money in for, for your kids. But I feel like this is new money coming in for sure. 
Um, in the environment, you've got the Five of Pentacles, where you've walked away from help in the past. You might be going towards it um, and actually seeking out the help. Maybe there's people and offers there to help you. Um, you... Nobody around you is kind of planning for the future, but everybody's happy. Everybody's stable. So that's really good. So we don't have an idea of what's going on with the future. Um, we have people coming into our lives who want to help us. Um, but the um, but overall, generally, it's a, it's a happy environment. So um, happy family kind of. Um, everything is kind of good in your life at the moment. Ah, oh, your hopes and fears, the Nine of Cups. Um, to be completely happy. You're Gemini, are you afraid of being completely happy and completely fulfilled? Um, I mean, your hopes and fears here for the Nine of Cups. I mean, the Nine of Cups is success, material attainment, advantage, um, abundance, good health. Um, all difficulties kind of overcome. Where in the reverse, if you're in a place of fear, um, you, you're afraid of making mistakes. You're afraid of losing losing you know, your money, um, material losses. Um, you worry too much about imperfections. You worry a lot about misplacing your trust. And that's a huge thing uh, for you, Gemini, in this reading, is that you are very afraid of misplacing um, your, your trust and um, um, and kind of choosing, um, you know, making the decision as to what you're encountering, is it a difference of opinion or is it dishonesty? Um, so I feel that this is a struggle both here. So this is going to be something that you work on for life, <laughs> right? We all have our little things that we have to work on for life. You know, we get some sort of trust broken in our childhood and then we have this coping skill that uh, gloms onto us and attaches to us and, and makes us do weird things as an adult because <laughs> we're trying to keep our little self safe. Um, so I really feel like you're afraid of making mistakes um, and you're afraid of uh, who you can trust and and you're coming into awareness, learning how to, and you're strong enough, right? You're coming into, because you're coming into awareness um, that not everything is um, somebody trying to work, work you over. Um, and, and, uh, I feel like there's um, fear in, in success as well, right? Um, so there's there's hope in, in mistakes as well, right? <laughs> if you make a mistake and you lose everything, well, you know, that I didn't really want to do it anyways. It's kind of like <laughs> one way of going with that kind of an outcome. Whereas if things are really good, you're like, oh, do I really want this kind of responsibility? Um, so definitely um, Nine of Cups is a happiness card. It's a success card. It's um, attainment card. And um, focus on that side, on the hope side, um, because if this is any indication of... I, I just feel you're afraid of your own happiness. I feel like you need to, to ask yourself, why am I afraid of this particular... Of, of happiness um, of success the happiness of success I almost feel like um, there's a unworthy am I worthy for success um, am I am I deserving to have this success um, other people don't get to have my kind of success why am I so special I'm not special um, so those are kind of the feelings that I'm kind of getting in this nine of cups and the hopes and the hopes and fears section. So, um, spirit is trying to, um, is, is feeding you the light and energy that you need. Your higher self is, is feeding you the light and energy you need. God is feeding you the light and energy that you need to have joy in this life. And our job is only to receive it and accept it regardless of what is happening in the physical plane, right? We, we have little control over the physical world. We don't have control over other people. We don't have control when it rains or snows or sunshiny or um, whatever the weather may be. We don't have control over those things. And as a result, we have to adapt and we have to adjust. Um, and I, there was a reason I was saying that. <laughs> um, 
but you're successful each time, you know, you kind of adapt and you adjust. Um, sometimes just trusting that everything is going to work out or is working in your favor is always working out for you. Um, can be a scary place to trust, but so, so rewarding. Um, you get wish fulfillment when you're when you are vibrating at that level of trust. So we had some technological uh, difficulties. Um, the last card to kind of <clears throat> pop out was the lovers here. Um, so the hopes and fears, you know, you're kind of afraid of your own success, right? And you're clearing the path and you're doing all this internal work um, here. And these these popped out after as well. These were your oracle cards. <laughs> Uh, but I feel like you're doing all of this internal work, all of this internal work to kind of change your thoughts. Um, uh, you're you're hopeful for the future, um, but you have this thing where you kind of approach the world like the world is being dishonest with you and you're learning to be kind of more open and more trusting. Um, and I feel like that's where your nine of cups is. It's like, oh, I'm not sure I can trust this. I'm not sure that I can trust this, but I do see you taking that kind of leap of faith. Um you know, you're coming from a happy foundation, a solid foundation. Um, uh, I'm just kind of looking at this page of pentacles here, the advice that you're kind of giving yourself. Um, learn more, uh, wait for new information. Um, messages um, regarding money, um, those kinds of things. This could also mean children um, and, and just kind of taking care of your family because um, the most important thing in your environment is happy family. So your family is happy, um, but there's no necessarily plan for the future and you're not really needing any help right now. Um, but the outcome of this is new partnership and um, uh, maybe even a you know, a new love interest. Um, but I feel like in doing all this personal work, it's opening you up to, um, more abundance, more happiness, um, that will ultimately lead into more happiness, <laughs> a happy, loving, uh, relationship or a very successful, um, partnership. Um, the last cards that kind of came out, what says light activation. Um, so through meditation, um, you can kind of relieve some of your anxieties and some of your fears um, and kind of um, create better thinking. Um, dig into um, maybe some of the reasons why you approach the world as being um, not trusted, not trustworthy um, and, and, and maybe see where that is not true or incongruent. Your, your um, personal value is incongruent maybe with, um, w with what reality is, right? Um, and then partly creating a sacred space where you can kind of pull away from situations and kind of um, take care of yourself um, to get clarity of mind um, to kind of remove this obstacle of not trusting so that positive and, you know, um, beautiful things can kind of come towards you. So the more that you're able to kind of clear all of these trust issues and trust the universe that it wants joy for you, um, that you can trust that when you're vibrating from a place of, of gratitude and happiness and expectation, um, that there's so much to be happy for you. Um, you're going to create these positive outcomes um, and you will find success. So that is your reading, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed. If you liked um, this video and it resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, and give me comments below. Let me know how it resonated for you. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day.